Welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to show you how to utilize N8N and send an email that contains data that we pull from a spreadsheet out of a Google Sheets. And then at the end, we're going to append a row back to that spreadsheet saying that we completed it and a date and time that we did that. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do in our N8N server is choose Create Workflow. Now, the first step that we're going to do is a timed scheduled trigger. So over here on the right hand side, choose on a schedule. Now we're going to choose once a day at, we're going to say 10 AM and we're going to email ourselves the actual stock price of Google, Nvidia and Sentinel one. Okay. So here it set to days for the trigger interval days between triggers one day at 10 AM. Now let's go back to the canvas and there we have our scheduled trigger. Now let's choose the plus sign. What we're going to do now is we're going to shoot, look for our Google sheets that we have here and we're going to grab a row from it. So choose get row and sheet. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to talk really quick about this credential here. Okay. There's plenty of other videos out there that walk you through step-by-step -step creating your Google Sheets credentials, your Gmail credentials, your Google Drive credentials. You'll need all three of those for this video. It's very straightforward. You just go into your Google account. Okay, so right here, we're gonna confirm that we've got the Google Sheets account, okay? We're gonna get the row and we're gonna go grab it from our list. Let's grab it from my spreadsheet here, N8 and stocks. Okay, the sheet that we're gonna grab is sheet one. Okay, let's go ahead and execute this step to make sure that we can pull back our data. And there we go, we've executed, we've pulled in row number two, and it's basically the message that we're gonna send ourselves via Gmail. So that step is done. Let's go to back to Canvas, all right? Now, the next step we're gonna do is send ourselves an email via our Gmail, choose the plus sign, we're gonna look here for Gmail, okay? And then we're gonna choose send a message, all right? We're gonna go grab our Gmail account like we spoke about earlier with the credentials, okay? We are gonna send it to your email address, okay? Put that in, subject, we're gonna put stock price, update, all right? Now down here in message, all we're gonna do is grab that row that we've created, there it is, from our Google Sheets. Now over here, you'll see the Google Sheets, and all I'm looking at doing is grabbing A2, cell A2, right? That's a concatenation, and it's just a basic formula that says your Google stock price is currently $191.82. If you look at the formula here, that's just basically a string plus a concatenation and a Google finance call, okay? Now this is gonna be the body of the email that we're gonna send. So let's go back into here, okay? That's complete on this section, okay? That's the email piece. Now let's go back, all right? And then what we're gonna do last is we're gonna create one more object and that's gonna be, we're gonna write back to the sheet, right? And we're gonna say, that we completed it and do a date and time stamp. So right here, we're gonna do an update row or append row, I'm sorry, append row and sheet, okay? So once again, your credentials, you're gonna use your Google Sheets account, okay? We're gonna append row. It's gonna say from what, we're gonna choose our spreadsheet, from what page, we'll call it sheet one. And here you go, it's gonna append right after this, okay? So sheet one, we wanna append it. So choose, let's choose sheet one. All right, now what we're gonna do is down here, the, for the value to send, okay, we're gonna do an expression and I've already created the expression and it's right here. We're gonna write the word complete and a date and time stamp. So I'm gonna copy that over, okay? And let's go back into N8N and in this module, let's put the expression there we go. Now, what I did to get that expression is I went into here and I went into Google AI Studio 
and you go into stream and what you'll do is you actually create a stream and you share your screen with AI Studio. That's aistudio.google.com. And that is this awesome AI tutorial. So in that, you can say something like, uh, would, would you tell me how to write a formula that can write the string complete and concatenate it with a date and time? And here you go. And I also told it to make sure you do Eastern time zone. And so here it does. It says to format it, you should would use the following. And it gives it to me and I copy and paste it right in there. So let's get back to the module and I've already tested it. I know it works, okay? All right, so now let's go back to the canvas and now we're ready to execute the entire workflow. So let's see how it goes. If we have any problems, it'll stop, but let's go ahead and execute. Boom, boom, boom. It's on its way. It says the workflow ex uh, executed successfully. Now all we gotta do is wait for our email. Okay, in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this and then back at the workflow steps, okay, we, what we're gonna do to activate it is just check, check this box. Currently it's inactive. We're gonna choose activate and it'll say, got it, workflow activated. We're all good to go. Now let's go check our email here, okay? And there we go, we got our stock price update. As you can see, um, We've got your Google stock price is currently $191.73. Meanwhile, your NVIDIA stock is trading at $173 and your Sentinel-1 stock is $19.45 a share. So perfect. It says this email was automatically sent with N8N. Now, if we go back and we take a look at our other module, right? Oops. And we go look at the Google Sheet You'll also see we got the complete stamp right here. So we appended it back to the Google Sheet with complete at 724 at 106 in the afternoon, which is correct. So that's it. That's an easy way to get started with your first uh, workflow in your N8N server. If you got any questions, uh, comment down below and I would love to answer them for you. Please like and subscribe this video. It'll help my channel. I appreciate you guys. Until tomorrow, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.